Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Good Morning Soul. I'm doing another review commentary. This is for the film The Italian Job, the remake. And I'm just going to start the video up now. So, this film was, you know, a film I had seen like once before, and then, you know, I literally just, for my first movie review, I believe, yeah, my first movie review. I just looked at my shelf and I was like, what are we going to review? I was like, the Italian job, sure. I watched it that day. I edited it. I filmed it that day. I just had a day off. I think it was the weekend. I filmed that day. Like, literally, I woke up early that morning. I filmed it. I edited it. And I had it ready by the end of the day. It was such a rewarding feeling. And I can still do that nowadays. It's just like... Films being finished don't give me the accomplishment that they did back then. But, like, back then, like, to be able to do all that in one day was, like, a moving experience. It was, um, it was a very serious, um, feeling. And I'll still do that. It's just, like, I don't, like, this was actually, I actually put some time into this because I didn't know how to edit back then so it took me like all day to edit this but only because I didn't know how to edit back then but I still I still got movie clips I still got um I still got like the little memes from Google images I wish weren't in there I should have cropped that a lot of stuff you know I and I yeah I shouldn't be judging people's facial hair uh, if you guys have seen my struggles, the Beard Struggles podcast um, episode yet, you can easily see what I'm talking about here, what's going on here. My facial hair is literally growing in some places and like just simply not growing in other places. And this camera doesn't really show it that well, but it was a real problem for me. Like I wouldn't want to grow my facial hair because it would come out so patchy. Yeah, but uh, my hair seems to be on point compared to that first review, man. I really should have done something about that. And I do want these commentaries, by the way, to be like not only a reflection of like the review itself, but just like a really chill kickback, me watching my old reviews, having a good time with it, you know, kind of make fun, make fun of them. Maybe if there's any other good out of them, get some good out of them. Cause some of them are actually I'm really proud of. You can really see me develop as a artist here. And um, I'm a even like since the past 100 reviews, I've completely changed. But it's um, it's always a growing process. Like people change literally. On a yearly basis, but it's crazy when you do a YouTube and you can see that physical and mental change like before your eyes. I'm just watching videos. And like, I even knew that at the time, like, hey, I'm gonna possibly watch this years from now, knowing that this is my first review. This is my first movie review. Um, I've reviewed like a couple dozen films since then. Like that's actually a pretty cool accomplishment. But um, yeah, like if I knew what I knew now, right? Or if I if I knew what I knew back then, I might have uh, I might get a little bit um more more spark. I feel like I was more creative back then. Like, I don't know if that's just a getting old thing, but, like, nowadays, like, if anything, I hold off on, like, the mass influx, influence of, oh, shit, this was a short review. I'm already on the score. Three out of five. The five looks shitty because of the font, and I use some shitty gold color. And that was my old background color for movies, which was yellow and not orange, like it is now. Look at that, look at that scoreboard, I love that. The annotations, mmm, looks so sexy, looks so sexy. That H is capitalized when it shouldn't be. 
I don't know why the out is capitalized and the rest of the... <laughs> and then reviews is capitalized. What is going on with my cap? I guess it's all capitalized. Okay, except the E, C, and K in check. For whatever reason, I didn't feel like capitalizing that. I'm gonna find out so many flaws that you guys don't see. I think that's like... Every single video on YouTube has flaws with it that the artist will tell you about. Every single video. There's my old, there's not even fully aspect ratio spoiler board with the old font. And nowadays I don't just pull images like that background is just some on Google images. Spoiler time. Spoiler time. Welcome to the spoiler section. And I think with this one, I was like, spoiler fuck filming, uh, like a down to earth, like vlog style right spoiler. Um, I'm just gonna film. Let's see. The but I don't have background music, which kind of gives it that feel. All the characters, which is really nice. Um, Look Seth at my Green notes. <coughs> Seth Green finally got that uh, stereo he wanted. I'm, I'm happy for you, Joker. Uh, oh, Mass Effect reference. Mark. Look at you, look at you, Christian. Look at you, look at you, soul. Making your little Mass Effect references. People will understand them. <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a constant thing that people will do in any art medium. If there is a man and a female. And they are the most leading man or woman. We're just gonna push them together, and we're gonna ship it. Even if the story is about friendship or nothing to do with romance, we're gonna push two random people together because society. Whatever reason, it's a thing. I don't know why every single piece of art does that. I think even my do my books do that the book I'm currently writing I don't think does that I don't think there's really any romance in it yeah the bad guy in this movie killed like some dude this girl's dad he killed her dad and then was flirting with her not knowing that that was her daughter that's some that's some uh fucked up shit. So the Italian job was a good movie, by the way. It's like a pretty cool action heist movie. I love heist movies. So if you like heist movies, check out the Italian job. It's a good one. With that, I leave you, and then I kind of get cut off. Because the way, I don't know why Sony Vegas, like, it'll cut off uh, whenever I say, with that, I leave you. Like, it'll cut out the last, like, couple seconds, so I have to, like, edit around it for whatever reason. So I have a bunch of videos where I just am like, and with that, and it just cuts out. But anyway, that was another review commentary. That was my review commentary for the Italian job. You know, pretty, you know, just standard review. Not, it was my first movie review though, and I've reviewed a lot of films, so if you got some out of that, watch another one. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode, and with that, I leave you.